Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have Sander writing in. Headline of this email is Can, uh, Canon 6D Mark II or Nikon D810. Now I can tell you I automatically have a snap decision on what to go there. Some of you will guess where I'm going with this. Uh, my name is Sander. I'm from Norway, and I love watching your input regarding decisions or questions viewers have on camera equipment that you answer on your channel. I'm an amateur enthusiast photographer currently photographing on a Nikon D810. I'm amazed by this camera, but having previously owned a Canon 80D, I miss the user interface and ease of use I experienced with the Canon counterpart. I am wondering about switching to a Canon 60 Mark II, most of all because of DPAF during live view, but also due to the user interface and ease of use I experienced with the Canon 80D. I shoot a lot in live view, and I'm disappointed by Nikon's performance in this regard. In addition, switching to a Sony system is something that doesn't interest me due to the lack of lenses available and the pricing for this system. My Nikon D810 is four years old, and I've gone through 135,000 exposures. Can you tell me a bit about your thoughts regarding this, and if the poor dynamic range on the 60 Mark II will affect me in any way when shooting on low ISOs? In addition, what are your thoughts on the Canon 60 Mark II as, an, as a stills camera? P.S. I shoot mainly stills as I'm not the video guy. In advance, thank you for your help and continue making awesome videos people from all over the world can enjoy. Best regards, Sander. Thanks very much, Sander, and thank you for your question. Um, interesting question because my initial response was, oh, D810 all the way. But if you shoot a lot in live view and you're, and you're missing the dual pixel AF, I get that because Nikon doesn't have anything equivalent to that. And it's currently Nikon's Achilles heel. The 810 is a fantastic camera, and I would hesitate to tell you to switch it for a 60 Mark II because the image quality is far superior to the 60 Mark II. You've got a, a significant amount more resolution. You've got um, better, uh, you're going to have better uh, low ISOs. Um, you've just got a better all round performing sensor with more megapixels. And very hard to get rid of that. If you're mostly a stills guy, I mean, the autofocus system on the D810 is very, very good too. So it's a great camera. If you're, I mean, if that's your concern that shooting in live view is the big problem and you're doing that a lot, then maybe you do need to look at Canon. But I would almost suggest that you need to go to, or I would suggest that you need to look at a 5D Mark IV uh, because you're going to get the live view, but you're going to get uh, closer to the same resolution, 30 uh, versus 36 on the Nikon, and you're going to get better image performance than you will out of the 6D Mark II. I'd be very hesitant to tell you that you're going to be happy with the image quality of the 6D Mark II coming from a D810. Once you get used to that image quality out of the D810, it's so nice, it's so rich, it's big power files. Um, 36 megapixels is still very good even in today's world. Where we got the 42 megapixel Sony A7R3, and we got that 40, uh, was it 6 megapixel uh, D850? The 36 out of the D810 is still punching at its weight class and above. It's still a very nice camera. Um, so I'd be very hesitant if I was you to switch that for a 62. I get that you missed the dual pixel AF, but I think because you're mainly a stills guy, um, if you're going to switch for something, I think you got to pony up a bit more cash, maybe get a used or a refurbed 5D Mark IV. At least get into the store, get your hands on one, see how it performs. Compare them. Um, take, some, take a card in. Get some test shots done um, with it. Or if you have a friend that has a 6D Mark II, you could try and a Canon 5D Mark IV and evaluate them. I think you're going to find you're probably not happy with the 6D Mark II coming from the D810. What do you guys think, though? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think somebody coming from a D810 with its juicy goodness, big, wonderful image files, is going to be happy with a 60 Mark II? Do you think his concern with the poor dynamic range on the 60 Mark II is going to result in, in he's not going to like the low ISO shooting on it? Or do you think I'm out of line here? Do you think in real-world terms it's not going to matter? Let me know in the comments below. Have you shot both? Do you own both? Have you switched like he's looking at doing from an 810 to a 60 Mark II? Let us know. Let's hear your feedback, your opinions, uh, especially if you have specific experience to doing this. Um, and let's help out Sander. Always great to hear what you guys have to say. Helps our viewers when they have questions uh, to round out the opinions and the advice. Um, thanks for your questions, Sander. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.